For many years, the United States dollar has maintained a dominant role in international commerce, acting as the primary reserve currency worldwide. This supremacy has granted the United States considerable economic benefits, such as the capacity to borrow more cheaply and effectively enforce financial sanctions. Nevertheless, recent times have witnessed an increased effort by countries, especially those within the BRICS group, to create alternative payment systems and lessen their dependence on the dollar. Russia, for example, has been a strong proponent of a BRICS payment mechanism aimed at enabling trade using local currencies and circumventing the dollar-centric financial framework. Trump's cautionary message can be seen as an indication of the United States recognizing the rising momentum behind efforts to move away from the dollar. It highlights concerns that a major departure from the dollar could weaken its international position and consequently destabilize the United States economy. Should key economies successfully switch to other currencies or establish a credible rival to the dollar, the United States might encounter issues like decreased demand for treasury securities, increased borrowing costs, and reduced geopolitical influence. If the move away from the dollar gains speed, it could indicate a major transformation in the global financial environment, weakening the United States' capacity to exert economic influence. This development would have significant consequences for global trade, finance, and international relations, making it a vital topic for policymakers and economists to consider. In this video, we will delve into today's news, focusing on Trump's admonition to the BRICS nations. We will also investigate the extent and objectives of the BRICS countries in their attempts to reduce their reliance on the United States dollar. Let's start by examining the current extent of de-dollarization. BRICS nations have progressively shifted towards conducting trade in their own local currencies to decrease their dependence on the United States dollar. This approach, aimed at increasing financial independence, is driven by both geopolitical and economic reasons. In a significant development in early 2023, China and Brazil, the two largest economies within the BRICS alliance, signed a pact to conduct trade transactions using their native currencies, the Chinese yuan and the Brazilian real. This agreement removes the necessity for the United States dollar as an intermediary, streamlining trade processes and minimizing exchange rate risks for businesses in both nations. Reports indicate that the bilateral trade between China and Brazil reached around $150 billion in 2022, with China being Brazil's top trading partner. This move to local currencies is anticipated to further enhance trade by reducing transaction expenses and promoting financial self-sufficiency. Iran and Russia have made considerable progress in integrating their banking systems to support bilateral trade and financial transactions while avoiding Western sanctions. This partnership includes linking their national payment networks and mutually accepting bank cards, thereby strengthening economic cooperation between the two countries. In early 2023, Iran and Russia connected their banking infrastructures, enabling Iranian financial institutions to interact with Russian banks and over 100 banks from 13 additional countries through Russia's System for Transfer of Financial Messages, an alternative to the SWIFT network. This linkage allows the issuance of letters of credit transfers and guarantees without depending on SWIFT, thereby lessening the impact of Western financial sanctions. On July 6, 2024, the Central Bank of Iran announced the integration of Iran's Shetab interbank network with Russia's Mir payment system. This advancement permits the use of Russian Mir cards within Iran facilitating transactions for Russian tourists and businesses operating in the country. The initiative aims to reduce reliance on Western financial systems and encourage bilateral economic activities. By November 2024, Iran and Russia had further progressed their financial integration by allowing Iranian bank cards to be used in Russia. This development enables Iranian citizens to make transactions and withdraw cash in Russia using their domestic bank cards thereby improving financial access for Iranians abroad and strengthening economic ties between the two nations. India and Russia have also adopted local currency trade, especially in the energy sector. Following Western sanctions on Russia in 2022, the two countries increased the use of the Indian rupee and Russian ruble for transactions. Russia became India's largest crude oil supplier in 2023, with a substantial portion of these transactions conducted in Indian rupees. This shift allowed both nations to bypass dollar-based payment systems, 
protecting them from external economic pressures. South Africa, the smallest economy within BRICS, has also expressed interest in increasing trade settlements in Yuan. China is South Africa's largest trading partner, with bilateral trade exceeding $50 billion annually. In 2023, South Africa entered agreements to use UN for various imports, particularly machinery and electronics, thereby decreasing its dependence on dollars and enhancing UN liquidity in African markets. BRICS Pay is a decentralized payment system created to enable smooth financial transactions among member countries using their local currencies. This initiative aims to reduce reliance on Western financial networks such as the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, or SWIFT, and to promote financial sovereignty within the bloc. Introduced in 2018 by the BRICS Business Council, BRICS Pay integrates existing national payment infrastructures, including Russia's MIR network and India's Unified Payments Interface, or UPI. This integration allows users to perform cross-border transactions in their native currencies, the Russian ruble, Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, Brazilian real, and South African rand, thereby simplifying payments and lowering transaction costs. The system utilizes a decentralized star topology architecture, establishing distributed networks for transmitting payment information and liquidity. This design ensures rapid deployment, scalability, and resilience against unilateral restrictive measures, enhancing the system's efficiency and security. By offering an alternative to SWIFT, BRICS Pay aims to lessen the impact of potential sanctions and reduce exposure to currency fluctuations. The platform's inclusivity and transparency are designed to encourage greater economic cooperation among BRICS nations and with their global partners. Let's take a quick pause. If you've enjoyed the video so far, could we ask a small favor? Hitting the like button helps us reach a broader audience, and sharing your thoughts or feedback in the comments makes an even bigger impact. Thank you for watching. Now, let's dive back in. In a unified effort to enhance financial stability and provide a hedge against currency volatility and geopolitical risks, BRICS countries have been significantly increasing their gold reserves. As of the second quarter of 2024, BRICS nations collectively possess approximately 6,200 tons of gold, representing 21.4% of the world's total gold reserves. Russia leads the bloc with 2,340 tons, which is about 8.1% of global reserves, followed closely by China with 2,260 tons, or 7.8%. Between 2018 and 2024, Brazil's gold reserves index grew nearly threefold, indicating a strong strategy to reinforce financial defenses. This trend illustrates a broader movement among BRICS countries to diversify their reserves away from the U.S. dollar. Accumulating gold acts as a protection against economic sanctions and enhances monetary policy autonomy. By maintaining substantial gold reserves, BRICS nations aim to decrease their vulnerability to external financial pressures and promote a more multipolar global financial system. Collectively, the creation of BRICS Pay and the strategic buildup of gold reserves highlight the BRICS nation's dedication to developing a more resilient and independent financial framework capable of withstanding global economic uncertainties and reducing dependence on traditional Western financial systems. Why de-dollarization? Nations are actively striving to reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar in international trade and finance, a process known as de-dollarization. This transition is driven by several key motivations. A primary factor is the pursuit of economic sovereignty and stability. The dominance of the U.S. dollar grants the United States substantial influence over the global economy, and its monetary policies can induce instability in other countries. By moving away from the dollar, nations aim to reclaim control over their economic policies and decrease their exposure to external shocks. Additionally, dependence on the dollar makes countries susceptible to U.S. economic sanctions, which can limit access to the global financial system. Countries like Russia and China are seeking alternatives to maintain economic autonomy and avoid these potential restrictions. Another motivation is the diversification of foreign exchange reserves. Traditionally, central banks have held a large portion of their reserves in U.S. dollars, but there is a growing trend to diversify into other currencies and assets like gold. This strategy spreads risk and reduces dependence on the dollar. 
geopolitical factors also play a role as nations like China and Russia aim to counteract U.S. economic dominance by promoting the use of their own currencies in international trade. This effort aligns with their broader objective of fostering a multipolar global financial system. Countries are also utilizing regional trade agreements to facilitate transactions in local currencies, bypassing the dollar. For instance, China and Brazil have agreed to trade using their respective currencies, simplifying transactions and lowering conversion costs. Lastly, the move away from the dollar reflects global economic shifts. As emerging economies expand their influence in international trade, they are increasingly using their own currencies to reflect their growing economic power and strengthen their financial markets. Together, these factors highlight the diverse and strategic motivations behind the global trend of de-dollarization. Now, let's discuss Trump's warning to the BRICS. Trump urges BRICS nations to preserve U.S. dollar dominance and threatens severe tariffs. The BRICS countries attempting to undermine the dollar is an unacceptable action, and it stops now, Trump declared on his Truth Social platform on Saturday. We demand a strong commitment that these nations will not develop or support any alternative currency that threatens the U.S. dollar. If they do not comply, they can expect 100% tariffs and a complete loss of access to the vast U.S. market. Throughout his campaign, Trump has pledged to make it economically unfeasible for any nation to abandon the U.S. dollar. His latest statements have intensified tensions as he prepares to assume office in January. Trump's threats are consistent with his broader strategy of using tariffs to enforce compliance on economic issues. Strategic Measures to Protect the Dollar Trump's advisors have reportedly been investigating ways to penalize nations that engage in bilateral trade using non-dollar currencies. Proposed measures include imposing export restrictions, labeling countries as currency manipulators, and introducing additional trade levies. These strategies reflect Trump's enduring commitment to preserving the dollar's central role in global trade. In a March interview, he stated, allowing nations to move away from the dollar would be a significant blow to the U.S. The issue of de-dollarization gained prominence after the BRICS nations discussed reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar at their 2023 summit. The push for alternative currencies gained traction in 2022 when U.S.-led sanctions against Russia heightened global frustrations with dollar dominance. Trump's campaign has particularly focused on countering these efforts, signaling a firm stance against any economic bloc that undermines the dollar. Tariff Threats and Global Market Reactions Trump has already stirred global markets with his proposals to impose additional tariffs on trading partners. He previously announced plans to impose a 10% tariff on goods from China and a 25% tariff on imports from Mexico and Canada unless those countries take stronger actions to combat drug trafficking and illegal immigration. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently met with Trump to discuss trade and border issues following the tariff threats, indicating efforts to ease tensions between the two nations. However, Trump's approach highlights his readiness to use economic tools to achieve broader policy goals, both domestically and internationally. There is no scenario where the BRICS nations can replace the U.S. dollar in global trade, Trump asserted. Any country attempting to do so risks losing access to the U.S. economy entirely. As Trump prepares to take office, his administration's stringent economic policies are likely to be a central feature of his second term, with significant repercussions for international trade and diplomacy. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel, which is now on the screen.